so you guys i made it to my gate in time i really didn't think i was gonna make it in time but i did so now i'm just waiting to board I was under the impression that we were going to be staying at the orange house, but this is where we're going to be staying. So nice. So I thought this was the house, but apparently it's like a little apartment. So whenever you walk in, they have a TV on the wall, a little couch. They have Wi-Fi over here. And then, what kind of room is this? Like a, is this like the sunroom? Oh, it's the kitchen. Let me tell you how hot as hell it is up in here. Like, wait, okay, we have a little view. A view of Santo Domingo. It's very, very, very different on here. Like, which I expected that already, but, you know. Look at the fridge. This fridge is so skinny, like, yeah. And then right here, there's closet. And then bathroom. It's pretty nice, actually. And then we have this one bedroom right here. But I thought we were gonna be staying here. Um, we're only staying here until after we get our COVID test results back. And then we're gonna go to the actual house. I just wanted to show you guys a little night view of Santo Domingo, where we are. It's so pretty. I like it out here. I mean, it's totally different from Houston, of course, but I like it. Good morning, everyone. So today we are going to do our labs. So we're leaving from our humble abode. To go do our labs. This is a beautiful freaking building. So I am freaking loving it over here. Like the lady who owns this place where we're staying at for like the next two days, her boyfriend made this. I don't even know what it's called. I'm gonna try to get the name over for y'all, but it tastes like ice cream, but it's made out of fruits and it's so damn good. Like oh, I love it out here, I swear. Hi you guys, so we had a very eventful day. We woke up at like six o'clock in the morning. We went to Cecilip where Dr. Mercedes is and we did our labs. I got blood work. Um, we had to do the COVID test, but it wasn't the nasal test. We had to like spit in a cup, like this much spit in a cup. 
and um, pee in a cup. And we did all that at Cecil, but we had to actually leave and go somewhere else to get an EKG. And it was this like big round thing, and you just lay flat and it puts you in the big round thing. I'll like insert a video of what it looks like. After that, we just were finished for the day. So we came back, we ate, I slept. I was exhausted. Like I fell asleep in Mercedes office. I fell asleep in the EKG place. I was just so tired, so exhausted. So I slept and then we ate. And then we had um, the best smoothie. There's this lady named Maria and she is like, awesome I love her so much we have to exchange numbers because she likes so freaking awesome but her um, boyfriend made us smoothies and it was all fruits and it tastes just like ice cream I'm just like damn I don't have to eat ice cream anymore I could just eat this like it's so good and it's so healthy and so good for you and it's just like amazing I try to figure out the name of it um I'll ask her tomorrow what the name of it is but it was so freaking good but um today is friday october 8th i mean october 9th so um tomorrow is saturday and i'm assuming tomorrow is when we'll get our results from our labs and everything and then we should be on the schedule for for uh monday on the 12th so I came out here with the intentions of getting a BBL and lipo, but when I see Mercedes today, he told me that I need a tummy tuck. So I'm getting a tummy tuck and I'm not really nervous. I'm just anxious. I'm ready for my stomach to be flat, I'm ready for my booty to be fat. I'm just like so ready. But yeah, that's pretty much all that we did today. So tomorrow we may go to the beach. If we do, I might show you know a few pictures of that. Not th not nothing, you know, too much. But um, yeah. So the next time I talk to you guys should be surgery day. Hey you guys, we went to this place. I guess it's called La Princesa to do currency exchange. Looks like a pawn shop. Now we're going to the Claro store. I don't know what all they sell over here, but I know right here you can get your um a SIM card for your phone so that your phone will work out here in the Dominican Republic. So we found this Claro store and right next to it is the pharmacy so they pretty much have everything up in here from what I can see. He's making the smoothie that I love so much. What's the name of this fruit again? Oh my God. Sabote. 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 And that's the inside of it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna see if my mother gives me a recipe for this. They yeah. make like let me show them this. Thing. It almost looks like a watermelon, but no, that's a pumpkin, pumpkin baby. I never seen that. But yes. because it's homegrown, it's so funny shape. But that's yeah. I'm gonna show you a picture of cooking avocado here in the super right there. I was doing to my girl. <laughs>
Yes, yeah, it's milk. Milk? Yeah. Okay. Is it like condensed milk? Is it like condensed milk? Uh, no, that one. He's putting it. It's not the sweet one. Oh, it's evaporated. Evaporated. Because the condensed one is sweet. No, right. Because he uses brown sugar. Mm -hmm. Oh. Brown sugar. Over here, that's a that's our favorite. Me too. Even I like it. Maybe. Like, I guess. Flaxseed. Flaxseed. Uh, I got teas that I got. Now, some things I know what it is, some oh, things I know. That's oh. oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I got all kinds of teas that I want to get. Teas, mom, to get. Good stuff. <laughs> if you don't find that fruit in the state. Pulmonology, and I am just loving the decor here. It's amazing. Look at these titties. So cute. Look at this big mirror. I need one of these for the house. Oh my god! Sorry, they didn't say hi. I was like, this is so cool! It's so amazing! 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 It's so amazing
Okay. I can pick whatever, but no inside. Okay. Yay. I think y'all be in the front of my truck here. Chico. It's like the closest beach to Santo Domingo and it's freaking beautiful out here y'all. Like, look at these waters. So our surgery was supposed to be yesterday but um, they pushed it to, I mean our surgery was supposed to be today but they pushed it to tomorrow and I'm not even mad. Like I really feel like we needed this day and look at what we did today. We came to the beach Came one with the sea, and I'm loving it. I'm really loving it. Like, I was kind of starting to feel a little anxious a little bit, but being here it really just takes the edge off, and I'm glad I got to come here today. surgery and I'm packing my bag I'm gonna be using my backpack of course and um so I'm just bringing in pads in case our flow comes compression socks these are the bath in a bag cloth wipes I'm bringing my phone just in case hauls spirometer my cute little sandals, granny panties, socks, a toothbrush, toothpaste, heavy cleanse. This is what I'm gonna leave the uh, clinic with, a dress. And I'm bringing a wife beater to go underneath my faja. Bringing my blanket. This has my money, AirPods, um phone charger chapstick everything i need and i'm also bringing my medication um aside from the medication that my doctor prescribed i'm bringing my benadryl docalax don't know if i'm gonna need all this but I'm bringing it this is my uh sinex uh and this tecosol which i'm probably not gonna use this but yeah, of course, I forgot to mention you can't forget your body pillow. This one is like a neck pillow, back pillow, head pillow. I use it for everything. And this is the body pillow that I'm going to be sitting on. I got this and this one from um, Natalie Bobby Pillow on Instagram. Hit her up. She delivers. And these are like super Duper 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 stuff.
have my yellow Mercedes wristband. I'm just sitting open. This is the recovery room that I'm in right now. But I'm just sitting in here waiting to be called for surgery. My surgery sister is already in surgery. Hopefully she's doing fabulous. I know she is. So um, I guess while I'm waiting, I can just tell y'all what happened. So we were supposed to get our surgery on Tuesday. Well, first Monday. Then they pushed it to Tuesday, and then Tuesday came around, and they were like, sorry, baby, we can't do you until Wednesday. So, I was under the impression that all I had to do left was the pulmonology test, but I ended up having to do a cardiology test. I ended up having to do a Doppler, and I think the pulmonology was the last thing. So, that's all we did on Tuesday. We got the phone call. No, we did that Monday. Yeah, we did that Monday. Then we got the phone call on Tuesday. And here we are on Wednesday. And it's already like 2 p.m. And I'm still waiting for surgery, which I'm in no rush. But, um, yeah. My beautiful nurse, Oscarina. Is assisting me put on these extra tight compression socks to get ready for surgery. Yeah, y'all, they are about to put my IV on my nerves. It's just now hitting me like, you really about to do this. So y'all, it's like a little after six and I just took my blue pill. So I guess the next time I'll be talking to y'all is on the flat side. Okay. So this is the day after surgery. Let me have a with some juice and some oatmeal. And the oatmeal tastes so good, y'all. The juice is phenomenal. <laughs> Okay, so I am currently vlogging from post-op day three because I'm so out of breath elsewhere. But um, so I had my surgery Wednesday. I think it was October 10th, Wednesday, and I didn't go into surgery until like the afternoon, like probably five p.m. or something like that. And when I got out of surgery, well, I remember they gave me the blue pill. And I remember I fell asleep, but then um, they came in and they came, like, grabbed me and, like, walked me to the operating room. I remember walking, but my friend said that they wheeled me in there. But that blue pill be having you, like, yeah, so I don't know what the hell I did. But, um, yeah, and I think I woke up, like, in the middle or at the end of surgery, but I was not scared. I, I didn't feel no pain. I felt, like, a little tugging. But between the blue pill and anesthesia, you ain't gonna remember. I just remember I was like, get this blanket off of my face. Probably didn't have a blanket on my face, but I was so out of it. But, um... I woke up in my bed, in my hospital bed at the clinic, and I wasn't really in pain. I was just like tight, you know? So, um, I was good. And then whenever we left from the clinic to come back to the recovery house, that's when it hit me like, oh my God, what did I do to myself for real? First day, hell, hell, okay? Second day, hell, it was hell. Now we on day three. I feel okay. I had my first massage yesterday. That was day two. And it felt a little better. But I don't know, you know, after she drains some of the fluid out and it starts to reaccumulate, it gets so tight and so uncomfortable. I have been crying for like the first two days. So 
so I didn't cry today, but I cried yesterday and the day before. But um, yeah, I'm at Betty Recovery House, and I love it here. I love the food. The only thing, I don't know, they was having like a party last night. It didn't bother me too much, but if you know you decide to come here, you know. But um. Yeah, I'm at Betty's Recovery House. It's pretty nice. Now, I must say, a lot of the recovery houses, not even just this recovery house, they've been, like, overbooked. So, they would, like, put you in, like, a hotel or Airbnb or something. It's, it was really comfortable for me. You know? It's just a heads up. <sighs> but, um, I had my first post-op appointment today. And it was good. It was pretty good. I got naked, I got to see myself naked. And I look really good. I can't wait till I'm healed up so I can like get dressed and stuff like that. But I don't know what else I wanna say. I'm just so out of breath. Like the first, first two nights that I slept in this hospital bed, I got a little uh, chicken grease all over my shirt. But the first two nights I slept in this bed it was like, my ass was hurting like I just couldn't so last night I slept in the recliner over there and it was a little better my booty didn't hurt as bad but my neck was hurting like I have my neck pillow like um at the end I'll post pictures of like my body and my pillows and stuff I have the boppy pillow and the neck pillow to match and I had that on my neck, but my damn neck was still hurting. I don't know. But I'm trying to figure out what else I want to say before I end this vlog. Because I'm probably going to end it right here. <sighs> but stay on top of your meds. I'm telling you. Like, I had the Oxyfort thing. And it has codeine in it. So, the first two days I took it, it made me cry. I don't know if it was the pain meds or the pain making me cry. But, yeah. I took my Oxyfort tea this morning, and then I took one Tylenol, the, um, I think it's the one for muscle aches and pains. I took one of those, like, 20 minutes before my massage. My massage still hurt, though. I ain't gonna lie. It still hurt. But I'm trying to think. I don't think there's nothing else I want to say. And if there is something else, I'll write it down, because I'll be doing, like, an update probably when I get home <sighs> but if you have any questions make sure you leave it down below in the comments make sure you leave a like for all this pain I'm going through just leave a like for all the pain leave a like for the pain and yeah I'll have pictures at the end thank you guys so much for watching my vloggy vlog